We, we got robbed. What? My rings. My rings are gone. You ain't got no rings. Sure don't. Yo, welcome to Under the Influence Cocktails and Consciousness. This is a critical thinking platform where we talk about issues that are important to the black millennial and then, you know, some issues not so important. As we know, sometimes these issues are tough, so we handle them with a cocktail. Welcome. It's your host, Caleb, Quran Free. And joining me, the lovely Ivory. Hi. Hey, it all right, man. I should get my 16 bars or something. All right, but man, look, today's topic of the show, who wears the pants? Black men in dresses. Mm. What the hell's going on with that? All right, so basically this happened. All right, DeAndre Jordan. Now, DeAndre Jordan is about 6'10", 6'11", if not 7 feet, 7 feet 1. I don't know. He's between 6'10", and 7 feet 1, which is a uh, freak of nature, uh, abnormally large human being. He is the center for the L.A. Clippers. All right? He's not... He's a shot blocker. I mean, he dunks and rebounds and stuff like that, but he's pretty good, you know. But what he's on my radar for right now is my man had a dress on in the last commercial. And I don't know what the hell to say about that. And a wig. And a wig. To accentuate the dress. What, what was the man thinking? All I can say is this. Blake Griffin, I've seen him. He's actually an actor. He's been in many commercials. He's been in little shows and shit. And he had to put a dress on. But my name DeAndre... He gets in the commercial out of nowhere, and now he has a dress on. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, what, what's going on? What, what's going on with him? And then it got me thinking. This is not the first time I've seen an athlete with a dress on. I saw LeBron James with a dress on. I seen Charles Barkley with a dress on. I saw, damn it, in my youth, I saw Larry Johnson play Grandmama. He had a dress on. You know what I mean? I've seen too many people with a dress on. And that's just the athletes. That's not to mention, you know, some of the actors, but let's start off with the athletes. Why do you think that they put athletes in dresses? I agree. Well, I don't want to give like a definitive answer as to why, because I think that it varies per, um, you know, situation and per person. But, you know, given the a repetition of like the athletes who have done it, I, I would have to say, like, it, it is something fishy about that. You know, I think that there is something in it that could look like this is a black man who appears to be masculine because of his physical abilities. And maybe if, you know, it's a white male that's behind, like, putting the dress on him, maybe in order to feel less inferior, I'm going to... Put, put a different image of him out there in the media um, as appearing feminine so that I can remain superior as a white male. Like, I think that that, that is, you know, something that happens in a lot of cases. Maybe not all cases, but definitely some. I think it is definitely a tool to, you know, make white people feel comfortable. Now, I hate to be the conspiracy theorist, but this time with DeAndre Jordan, you know, he was a free agent and he was getting ready to sign with the Dallas Mavericks. Now, he recanted on that and he went back to the Clippers. Now, that did piss off Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban is like the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, very rich guy. He's on Shark Tank and stuff like that. Maybe he was so pissed off that he even arranged for DeAndre to get the dress on. Now, we have to remember Nobody, you know, Bill Cosby beat them, made them pass out, put a dress on them, and they woke up and took a picture. Like, they, you know, these athletes agree, right? So, they, it, it takes two. So, maybe there was something in them that felt like that it was, you know, appropriate or acceptable to do. You know, who's to say? I'm not one to say if it is or isn't, but, like, you gotta, you can't blame nobody else they agree you know they do have a choice because let's 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 let's, let's, let's extend it into the actors and comedians and such Dave Chappelle said he was on the cover of Blue Streak and there was a part where they wanted him to put a dress on uh he came to his trailer they had a dress in his trailer he said you know what I'm not putting the dress on they said Dave come on Dave 
you can put a dress on. It's funny, man. Everybody does it. You say, hey, I'm not putting a dress on. They're like, Dave, come on, man. Everybody, everybody does it, man. It's just like this is your, 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 I don't know, your passage into uh, being a great comedian. He's like, no. He said he kept saying no, and basically he left out the trailer. Sending different people in there. Yeah, different people to persuade to him. Acts different, acts differently. Yeah, you know I mean, offer more money, such and such, and you know, he walked out the trailer, came back in, and it was a new script right there, like on the spot. So basically, somebody thought about, you know, maybe Dave might say no. <laughs> and so they was like, you know, we can't just stop production like that, so let's throw this part in. So that makes me think that they do have a choice to put this shit on. So, like, but who who comes at them and says, put a dress on, though, and why? So I, I this is my opinion. I think it's to effeminize black black males. I really, I really feel like that that's the case. Um, I don't think that's funny. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm older and now I'm more serious about shit. But like, even as a kid and I saw shit, the only person who ever made me laugh, <laughs> and I'm ashamed now because I know it's like it's fucked up, was Martin Lawrence. He was the only person that made me Shanae. laugh. Shanae was funny and Mama was funny. Aww. Yeah, you know, it, probably because Martin, Martin probably wasn't doing it for the hell of it. Th I think Martin honestly created his own characters too. So I think it's a difference, you know what I mean? Like, Dave Chappelle didn't create that character. He's like, you know, fuck that. But Martin created these characters. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And Eddie Murphy, and we talked about it, I agree not Eddie Murphy, because Eddie Murphy also, he didn't really kind of play a man in a woman's dress. He kind of played a whole woman. You know what I mean? The Clump family was like all different characters, and they had like kind of like a background a little bit. And mm -hmm. he was fully clothed, he was fully made up and everything like that. You know what I mean? But Martin... Big Mama's house wasn't funny either. I don't know. Martin's putting a lot of fucking dresses, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Martin. Maybe that's why Martin fucking went crazy, though. How about that? You ever thought about that, guys? <laughs> because Martin did lose his fucking mind. Eddie Murphy is risky. Um, yeah, he did. Uh, I think that, like you said, Shanae was his character, so at least he had more like creative control. I feel like Big Mama house not so much. And I'm like. Well, it was a cop who turned to a right, 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 right. But still, I mean, for me, it's more, I'm more so I'm more so interested in why what makes these male characters agree to do it. You know, because you can't say they are feminizing, you know, black male as if you know the black male didn't have a choice. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what is making them choose to do this? I could see if like they made like cartoon characters without their um permission with would uh and turn them into females or put dresses on them or whatever but like that wasn't the case so like you can't be mad at someone for doing something that you are a willing participant in you know now i'm sure millions of dollars were thrown their way but definitely they we got Wesley Snipes. He's not a comedian. Oh, Two One Fu. I forgot about Two One Fu. Yeah, we have Ving Rhames. Uh, we have Tyler Perry, of course. We got Jamie Foxx. We got Julia White. Yeah. Play, he played uh, what was the cousin? Yeah. What was her name? Myrtle. Myrtle, Myrtle Urkel. Urkel. Arsenio Hall. Chris Tucker. Arsenio Hall. What did he play? Coming to America. Oh, he did put the fucking dress on. But let's talk about Two Long Fu because that's interesting. Those are I actually I forgot I couldn't name any like any other people who like put on dresses. But Patrick Swayze did put on a dress and John Leguizamo put on a dress and Two Long Fu. But weren't they drag queens? Yeah, well, I mean, man, see, yeah. they really like they were really like drag queens, right? Right. Yeah. So like, that's a lifestyle. I mean, it wasn't for comedy. It was like that's a lifestyle. They tam they they play. I don't know why Wesley did it. I don't know. Wesley might need to put a dress on that shit. Yeah. Tracy Morgan. Oh, he did on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> of course. And of course, the Wayne brothers with white chicks. See, that's different too, man. I don't know. How so? Because they had fully, they fully, you know what I mean? It's like they took away the man part of them. They didn't look like men. They looked like the white girls, for real, for real. Plus, they were playing cops too. They were playing FBI. So, what is your, if they playing cops? I don't like them, my man. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like Mar Martin. I love that. That was the shit, dog. I ain't gonna lie, you was a, a genius, honestly. But I don't like when a man keep the mustache and shit. I don't like when they kind of like nails. You know that they nails, so why? Because you know they not. You know they really on some bullshit there. Like with, like I said, with two on food. 
they had they they it was like scorched earth. They had no but hair what, what, Why couldn't it be like that though? Why couldn't it be like yeah, I'm on bullshit. And I'm showing my audience I'm on bullshit with this. Up. Like because it was serious. It was a serious movie, dramatic movie. Okay. But the other shit be funny. Like white chicks was like com- com- comedy or whatever. So I feel like you put you're putting rules on what type of like it's not scenario funny. it is. I just want to say it's not funny. If you were doing something like with has you have you have to be in this character like you know FBI agent they do do shit like that. That's real. That's stuff that really happens. Really. Is it? No. <laughs> they never do that. No. Man, they don't go under character as female, uh, females. They get a female to act like, you know, you know? an informant. How you know? <sighs> FBI agents. How you know they don't go under, deep undercover? <laughs> but I don't know, man. Oh well. Mm. I don't know, but all I say is this, man. I, I don't know about this, man. And I don't know about the future of this because all I say is this: you got kids, especially DeAndre Jordan. You a big athlete, dude. You got kids who look up to you, honestly. Like you know, I mean, comedians. Like I don't know, if kids really look up to comedians like that. I mean, you're a fucking comedian. Yes, yeah, there's plenty of people who do. Who takes comedians seriously? Plenty of people who have said that they wanted to be that they were. They looked up to Eddie Murphy and Martin and. Was it when other other comedians though? Yeah, but you're gonna do like, that's my point. A lot of kids aspire to be comedians. Yeah, and if you're going to do it, man, all right, man. Maybe, I'll get, maybe let's, let's do it like this. You're I'm not defending be... it, but I'm just trying to find where you're going with this. Like, I don't know, man. It's just something about it. something that, that strikes me awful. Something makes you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, when black when, when men, especially particularly black men, put on dresses. Now, like I said, what if they are willing participants? What's, what's wrong with you then? You got to check yourself. So who are you really mad at? I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know who I'm mad at. I'm mad at. Know. I'm mad at everybody. Yeah, no. My it's... man, look, don't put on dresses, all right, guys. If you're a con- comedian, you know what? You're getting paid for it. <sighs> I don't fucking know, man. That's weird. I know. You gotta That's let do them. I guess you do, but they said it was wrong, so don't do it. Come on. Well, it was wrong for him, and I do think that it's. I think it's the spirit in, in which it's approached with, right? So they knew in his experience that they were trying to pull the okie doke on him. Right. So he's like, uh uh-uh. uh. Now, if it's a, cre- a character maybe you create on your own, like Martins, like Shanae, or even like some of these social media stars, like they, they independently do that. Nobody necessarily forces them. Like that's, that's you know, then. Are you saying so maybe one Philip Hudson? My man, I don't know which one it is, because I always say they see their name together or something like that, but whichever one is the chubby one with the braids, my nigga, you do it too well. You be smacking his lips and popping it all like my brother. You like that? Okay. Not not like it like no, that. No, I don't like, like it at all. You do it so well. I'm like, brother, why are you doing that? You got to calm down. That's hypersexual, dude. The fuck are you doing? Hypersexual. You know what I mean? Hypersexual, hyper feminized. Oh God! So I'm making. But the thing about it is, you know what? So the crazy part about it is that I find, and that you also agreed with, women find that shit funny. I think women find that more funny than dudes. Now, do. a lot of white males dress up in dread and as women too. Who? Mrs. Doubtfire. Ah, uh, Robin Williams. Adam Sandler. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, I don't watch a lot of movies, but that's predominantly white. They are comedians, though. You ain't gonna see Peyton, Peyton Manning or no motherfucking, uh, you ain't gonna see uh, Tom Brady. You don't see uh, these athletes who are these big, strong, muscular, rugged guys. You don't see their ass in dresses. I remember Ricky Williams was on the cover of Sports Illustrated with Mike Ditka in a dress. And look, Ricky, we look as we know about Ricky Williams, not, Ricky Williams ain't like that. They played him. They kind of put some money out there. They put him do it. in a dress? Yeah, they put him in a dress. Strong as hell. His arms are so damn big in that damn dress. And what show? And what Sports Illustrated. Cover Sports Illustrated. Wow. Back in the day. That's my thing, too. Like, you know, and it's kind of hard to touch on comedy. That's why I probably have been tongue tied with comedy. But when you see a big ass athlete in a dress, it's like, dude, that's not even your role. Charles but Who's to say whose what role is what? Because there are a lot of male athletes, I'm sure. If you're funny, okay. Who right, like are. Shaq gay men oh. or who have you know dibble and dabble 
And so maybe they are interested in like, and there's nothing wrong with that. You so you so? can't say. That's terrible. I never thought about it that way. So you tell me that that's their way out of themselves? No, I'm saying maybe they're not not as uncomfortable with it as you think that they should be. But like, niggas just address. I've been did this. Crazy shit. Actually, I mean, say, they're willing participants. That's, I keep saying that to you. Actually, there was a, a they sports announcer. They're going to be on Sports Illustrated. There was a sports announcer named Marv Albert, and some lady said this nigga had stockers and shit. He was dressed up in stockers and wearing clothing. <laughs> So I don't know that. Okay. Well, this is going to be a short topic today, guys. We don't. Shout out to Flip Wilson, Charles Barkley. Well, rest in peace, Flip Wilson. He's do the, I forgot who will play. He's to play. He's do the little dress shit, too. Mm-hmm. Charles Barkley, uh, Tyler Perry, Dave Chappelle. No, not Dave Chappelle, because Dave Chappelle didn't do it. My man, Martin Lawrence, Jamie Foxx, Chris Tucker, Chris Rock, Jaleel White, Larry Johnson. <sighs> the dress game. Tell you what, I know. You know what I on. think the problem is? I think that a lot of black men feel like they don't own their manhood in a lot of ways, so they feel like anything is a threat to it. When and they don't allow, allow room for people to do whatever it is that they want to do. It's very similar to what we were going, what we went, what we were saying in um, one of the other shows about being a, a performer in and um doing things to please white audiences like it may not be something that's comfortable for you but it's something that 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 particular artist feel like that they needed to do to make money especially during that era also you're cooning so it's not i wouldn't i wouldn't equate it to cooning but what i'm saying is that we can't judge people for doing something that they feel like they want to do because we feel like we sh- we can't we don't want to do it like there there shouldn't be that shouldn't exist like you gotta let people do them but i think that particularly black men feel like that they can put these barriers on other black men to be hyper masculine because they feel like their manhood is is constantly threatened or that they don't they don't own their own manhood and that's something that you that you know as a group but individually, also, that has to be really worked on. And maybe I would trip as hard if it was original. Because I'm younger, I mean, because I'm older now, my original was Martin Lawrence did it. And everybody else doing it after that was kind of like, y'all trying to be like Martin Lawrence. So, the fact he wasn't that I, the first. I know he wasn't, that's the thing. I, I know he wasn't the first. Oh. Actually, the, the first that I know of was kind of like Flip Wilson back in the 70s and shit. I mean, he used to do it. There goes the, there goes the something, there goes the something. I used to watch him on like Nick at Night or whatever. But be original, man. It look crazy when you do the same thing somebody else did. Like, again, it kind of strikes me as that. Like, my man Prince. Prince is very, whatever, androgynous or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But I expect the shadow Prince. You can put on ashes chaps, my nigga, and I wouldn't even see him crazy. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's not like that. It's not that what you're saying. Like, hyper, it's like, oh, but it's like. That's his thing. You're kind of just doing it. You're kind of just doing it. Yeah, yeah that's his thing. That's Everybody cool. else is just doing it kind of because somebody told him to it look like. So that's the difference is that you do it because it's something that you'd want to do or right. that somebody told you to do it. Yeah, Little Richard. Hell, Little Richard. I saw Little Richard's story. He was a little kid. He had a dress on. He did daddy put the shit out of him. He still put the dress back on. It's still, <gasps> still do this thing shit. <laughs> so I ain't mad at him. Y'all ain't never gave me nothing. That nigga Michael Jackson gave me shit back and it disappeared. Yeah, he said yeah. he ain't say that shit again I ever. Richard. I love Lil Richard, man. I love Lil Richard. He don't get a credit. He, he created died. rock and roll. Right. He created this and they stole it from him. They stole his shit. Michael Jackson gave it back. You ain't seen shit, nigga. You ain't heard from him since. I ain't mad at him about that. Nigga, so what? Playing the piano on the beat. <gasps> Woo! Do the fruit! In the booty! Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, black Jesus. Okay. Alright, so man, that's our show on dresses, man. So if you or if you know any other black man who would wish to put on a dress, um just show them this show maybe before. Let them know that hey, the jig is no, up. I don't I don't agree with the it. The jig is up, guys. I endorse with the uh, Caleb is saying right now. The jig is up. Unless your ass is a comedian or something like that. And it's original. Don't just do it like everybody else. Alright. Until next time, man, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment. Let us know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Under the Influence Cocktails and Consciousness. We are out. Bye.